Hello, it's me, the Synthetic Soundsmith. Today we're going to be doing a Q&A. I got a ton of questions to answer, so let's get into it. First question comes from all of these people, and many more. They ask, how do you do the voice? How do you get the images? Well, the images are going to be coming from Midjourney. Uh, V5 is very good. They have a free plan where you can try out the V4, um, but the V5 is way better and you have to pay for a plan for that. You can use images as references, pretty much prompt it every way you want. I mean, really all of the prompts come down to just saying, imagine Master Chief uh, as a boxer. And it will give you some tests and you decide which one out of those tests that you like and you can upscale them and that's pretty much all I use for these videos. For the voice, we are using 11labs.io. Uh, it's very, very good. Um, but you do have to pay for a plan in order to create your own voices and simulate other voices. This involves uploading a sample or multiple samples of the voice you're trying to duplicate and then um, basically just trying over and over again to get a good take. There's ways to play with the variability of the voice and try to get it to be a more emotive, um, but a lot of that comes down to preference and trying to match the character. The other tool we will use is ChatGPT4. This is a paid version of ChatGPT, but it's a lot better. Typically an idea will come to one of us and we'll run that prompt through ChatGPT and then kind of regenerate and iterate until we get a take that we like and edit it. If in the future there's a lot more interest for tutorials for this sort of stuff, I'll definitely do it. Uh, just let me know. October Vanderslice asks, how long did it take you to train such a good chief voice model? It's really seamless. Well, that's the beauty of Eleven Labs. Um, depending on the voice, we're able to cut down a sample of the voice and most of the time it'll pick it up pretty quickly. Other voices that have innate effects like the Arbiter or uh, Gravemind, we have to give it a sample and it doesn't really give anything super close, but we're able to take that output and I'm able to edit it as close as I can. Master Chief's voice is a bit monotone, so it gets the output correct most of the time. Um, we had to take a sample and noise gate it. That way we cut out the fuzziness and it was a lot more consistent. So I'd recommend slicing down samples and getting the perfect samples of the voice you want to emulate. Nikki Bosho asks, How are you so good at giving mental health advice? Well, the truth is I'm not. This whole channel revolves around the idea of using AI for something helpful. A lot of it comes down to me knowing the topics I want to touch and having the AI expand on that. So many people I talk to think AI can only cause harm, but I, I really believe it depends on the user and I, I want to show that to a bunch of people. I know it's good mental advice when it's helpful to me. That's basically my guidelines for making these videos. If I know the content is enjoyable, helpful, or comedic to me, I know a lot of you guys will feel the same. Mr. Feller asks, how many attempts does it usually take to generate a monologue that has empathic quality? That one depends on the character, and the rest of it depends on how many takes are you willing to give this particular script. Sometimes you have to re-edit the script or add pauses or generate each paragraph separately in order to get a consistent emotion throughout the whole thing. I can't say a specific number, but I'll say it's taken me anywhere from one generation up to maybe like 20 to 30 for one paragraph or video. A lot of it can come down to luck, but I would also say that there is some skill choosing the right samples and messing with stability and clarity in 11 labs. Sierra Lovat Lovit says, how are you so amazing? I'm not, but thank you though. Wraith Walker asks, what other characters are you going to add to your advice giving roster? We have a lot of characters we work on, but I don't want to keep repeating the same themes for each character. Um, I know a lot of people like the Kratos idea of him being like a father figure, but I think Chief fills that role a bit better for me personally, and I, I just like Chief's voice better for that sort of stuff. A lot of the other characters we work on have their own themes, and the type of videos we want to make with them aren't just advice. Um, we want to keep characters like in their own personality. 
but it all depends on what you guys want. Um, if you want to see Kratos and all these other characters giving the same general advice that Chief does, I'd totally do that. I just want to keep them a bit separate for my own taste. Lucas Blevins asks, what inspired the MC series? What's your full-time job? Have a family? I touched on it a little bit earlier, but the main inspiration came from the idea that a lot of people see AI as something that can potentially only be harmful, and I wanted to show this other side of it. I'm definitely not the first to do it, um, but I really enjoy the comedic aspect that it can provide, um, but the tutorial aspect of it is something that I don't think was really touched on. And the idea of Master Chief teaching people how to do actually useful things was just a really funny idea to me. My full-time job is retail. It's a lot of fun. But my main passion is technology, entertaining people, or just helping people. I do have a family. I have a wife and a baby boy. Sleepy Chickadee asks, do you have any favorite video games? Oh, and what games are you playing right now? Halo! I actually really love Halo. Uh, I'm playing through it right now. I haven't played Halo in probably about 10 years, but I want to do a legendary only run. I uh, just beat Halo 2 tonight, and I'm on Halo 3 right now. My favorite games of all time though are probably Rock Band. <laughs> I love rhythm games. I guess I should also say I put close to 6,000 hours into Dota 2, so I guess I'd consider that one of my favorite. I don't play it too much lately though. Another notable one would probably be StarCraft 2. Before I was working on YouTube videos, I was putting a lot of time into that and trying out the new season. The best franchise would probably be the Souls series though. I put a lot of time into that. Suko Yomi asks, do you update the 24-7 stream adding your newest videos? Yep, for those that don't know, we have a 24-7 Master Chief advice stream running right now. And we add videos to that almost daily. Um, I want to keep it running for as long as I can. And I want it to be a place that people can hang out and just have fun and enjoy the life lessons that he can give us. Atrocities Roblox asks, who are your favorite fictional characters? I think a really underrated one would be Abe from Oddworld. This whole AI voice thing has really made me appreciate Dagoth Ur. Um, so I always want to make videos about him and using his voice. I just think it's a really funny voice. I obviously really enjoy Master Chief as a character, um, and his voice is amazing. But I, I don't think I'd say he's a favorite. A lot of HP Lovecraft characters I'm really into and pretty much anything that's like cosmic horror or psychological horror, I, I, I get really into. Demon Death says, why do you not do more Gravemind stuff? It's not a lack of ideas, it's more so that the voice is hard to duplicate and the AI isn't very good at replicating it either. So a lot of it comes down to editing the voice and um, I'm somewhat savvy with audio editing but whatever they do I, I can't figure it out if the idea is good enough i will make the video anyway and he's definitely not going to go away i really love the concept of his character carlos dlt asks one movie you'd watch before you went blind blade runner 2049 it's an amazing movie rusty memer asks what compelled you to think of life this way and may I ask where Noble Six is? Will we see some advice from them anytime soon? I think I answered the first part pretty decently earlier. As far as Noble Six, uh, he's probably not going to be giving advice, but at the moment I actually don't really know much about the character. Um, this is kind of why I'm going back and playing through the Halo games. I played Halo 1 through 3 way back in the day when they first came out but I stopped playing right after that. Um, the most recent one I played was Infinite. I played and beat the campaign and played some multiplayer, um, but it wasn't really doing for me what Halo 1 through 3 did. But right now I'm making my way through all the games. I'm on Halo 3 right now, so once I get to know a little bit more about him, I'll probably start introducing him. Egg asks, knowing how strong he is, how hard would you fight to stop Master Chief from stealing everything in your house? I wouldn't, he can have it all, dude. Reeves asks, will you ever make a Chief who reads the Fall of Reach video? How did you get into synthetic soundsmithing? Uh, I definitely considered making that video. Um, I don't know how that would go over YouTube-wise, so that might be a Patreon thing. 
but I'll be looking more into that um, shortly. The main thing that got me into messing with all this AI stuff is my friend who actually works on this channel with me showed me videos of Dagoth Ur talking about beheading Argonians <laughs> and um, I thought it was the funniest thing ever and I immediately looked up how to make the voice W Wolf 2874 asks, could you possibly make Geralt of Rivia read books or do some sort of video with his voice? Uh, yeah, we've we've done a couple videos with a little bit of his voice in there. Um, if people want him to read books, I'll definitely be open to that. If you want to check out what we've done with his voice so far, he was in the baseball video and the zoo video. Russ asks, can you do a video where Uncle Eero gives wisdom? Yeah, I can definitely try to do that. I've never watched Avatar. I don't know anything about the character. Um, but yeah, we can try to mess with it. Jedi William Vine asks, what's your favorite part of the 2006 Nissan Murano? The name. FN Pug asks, how long does it usually take to make one video? It's kind of a loaded question. I spent a lot of the day thinking about funny ideas or concepts to use in a video. Um, but to actually make the video, coming up with a good script can take anywhere from maybe 5 to 30 minutes. I think most of the struggle comes from creating a good picture um, because it's a lot of trial and error. So that can take anywhere from one generation, which is just a couple of minutes, up to maybe I leave it on the back burner for a day or two while I'm randomly trying to generate a good image. Voice-wise, it doesn't normally take too long to get the voice I want, but like I said, it can normally take anywhere from like one generation of voice to maybe 20 to 30. Overall, if everything works the way it should and there's no hiccups, one of the short advice videos probably takes five to 10 minutes to actually make. A lot of it comes down to, is this idea actually good? Because I can bust out these videos pretty much as fast as they come to me, but I'm not going to upload every single one of my ideas. A lot of them are garbage. Other videos like Zoo Day or the baseball game, they take a lot of time, multiple days of work. And for any of the musical videos like Dagoth or Sings, this will probably take uh, most of my night. Cheesers asks, what is your favorite food? Get detailed. Sushi. I love um, spicy tuna rolls, spider rolls, I eat a lot of garbage food, Taco Bell, <laughs> Subway. Cinnamon Life is probably the best cereal I've ever had. That's like dessert to me. I've been getting into Pad Thai lately, super good. Anything spicy, I love. Um, it's kind of a problem. If there's an option to make something spicy, I just have to do it. Um, I still haven't forgiven Taco Bell for the whole volcano burrito thing and taking it away from me. Drake himself asks, how do you come up with video ideas? Uh, it's pretty much just always on my mind. I'm just always thinking about how I can relate something to something everybody else has experienced or wanted to know how to do. I haven't gone into it too much, but I work on this channel with three other people. Um, they're close friends and we have generally the same comedy and ideas about a lot of things. So there's a lot of back and forth and tossing ideas around. So that helps a lot, but a lot of it comes down to what am I feeling that day or what am I doing or what am I looking at or what are people talking about? Black Dude says, how tall are you? Five foot 11. Mud asks, who are you? Uh, the synthetic soundsmith. These two people ask, why are you in my recommended? Dude, I don't know. I started this channel less than two months ago and I have 50,000 subscribers. I don't I, I don't know. YouTube just loves suggesting people my videos. I'm not gonna question it. I'm just rolling with it. Kona asks, do you or have you ever run out of ideas to make videos of? Again, luckily I have a couple friends that are helping me. Um, so even if I do have a day where nothing comes to me, we're able to just talk and they have their own ideas that really help me out. A lot of it comes down to not me running out of ideas it's just do i want to post this idea on youtube or is this just like a throwaway or just like an extra patreon thing i could add all right i'm gonna answer one more question maximus c asks how are you i've been doing great um this whole youtube thing has 
really caught me off guard. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, but as long as you guys keep enjoying it and I keep enjoying it, it's going to be here. I'd say if you asked me before the YouTube channel started how I was doing, I was probably at one of my lowest points in my life. But luckily, I started talking to therapists and started taking medication that helps me a lot. Um, and I've never been as motivated as I am now in any of the past years of my life. And I do want to say thank you to all of you for watching the content and uh, sticking with me through this stupid video. I really appreciate you. And I'm going to go keep working on videos. I spend a lot of time in the live stream that we do 24-7, so if you want to come and chat, I'm normally there if I'm not sleeping or working, and I'll see you guys around.